you like art? Mm, yes, I'm a big fan of artistic things. Uh, as long as I have some leisure time, I go to some art museums to enjoy things like paintings, calligraphies, antiques, which gives me a sense of sat satisfaction. You know, besides, I find music and opera magnetic. You know, I go to local theaters to enjoy them during weekends or public holidays. Do you think art classes are necessary? And why? Yes, I think art teaching uh, is beneficial to students uh, because it helps them have access to all the beautiful things in the form of uh, music, paintings, stage performance, and and more importantly, you know, nurtures their life by helping them develop develop a sense of beauty, which is not something academic classes can bring them. How do you think art classes affect children's development? Well, in some art classes, by enjoying paintings, music, or some stage performance, uh, kids witness the, the uh, variety of art which fill their souls with excitement and contentment, you know, and hopefully develop a sense of beauty. Besides, those artworks presented in classes help them view the world from another person's view uh, which will nurture uh, their later life you know in terms of uh, like creativity and seeing problems from different perspectives what kind of paintings do chinese people like well it's very hard to generalize you know some find some find paintings with massive and beautiful landscape fascinating while others gravitate towards those simple ones like some paintings portraying only a cup of it or a dog what can you learn from western painting for uh, from paintings portraying uh, the western uh, buildings I get to know how Western style buildings look like and how they are different from buildings in my own country. Besides, some paintings describe what people do when it comes to some local festivals, which provides me with a good opportunity to, you know, get a better picture about Western culture and, and some customs. What benefits can you get from painting as a hobby? Uh, first of all, painting uh, painting helps me hone you know my hand-eye coordination ability. Secondly, uh, drawing something beautiful helps me develop a sense of beauty. How do you feel? Uh, how do you feel about art? I think we can benefit a lot from art, like developing a sense of beauty, viewing this world from another person's perspective and more importantly uh, de developing an ability to appreciate anything beautiful what benefits does art bring to people well I think we can benefit a lot from art like developing a sense of beauty viewing this world from another person's pers perspective and more importantly developing an ability to appreciate anything beautiful how important do you think art is in the lives of people well art makes our life colorful and fills our souls with excitement and contentment Without those great artistic works like paintings, music, or stage performance, we would end up leading a boring and meaningless life. Why do you think people like to have a painting in their homes? Well, paintings liven up the rooms, you know, and show the good taste that the owners have in art. Uh, they can also weave their magic to put people in a good mood. And besides the art value, paintings might be of great sentimental value to the owners. Have you ever been to an art gallery, gallery before? Yes, last week 
I went to a local art gallery with with a bunch of my friends. You know, most most paintings exhibited in this gallery are uh, portray the the natural landscape. You know, they looked so beautiful and spectacular, and I took some photos of the of them. Okay, let's listen to some art. You like art? Mm, yes, I'm a big fan of artistic things. It's a good idea to know the adjective for art, artistic. Uh, as long as I have some leisure time, I go to some art museums to enjoy things like paintings, calligraphies, antiques, which gives me a sense of sat satisfaction, you know. Now, hang on a second. Uh, why is it as long as? Does he mean when? When I have some leisure time, I go to museums to enjoy. Okay, paintings is fine. Paintings can be countable. Calligraphy is not countable. And this word is antiques, not antiques. Antiques. So, a couple of problems there. Also, why is there a there here? Which gives me a sense of satisfaction. No there. You know, besides, I find music and opera magnetic. You know, I go to local theaters. There's a lot of you knows in this. To enjoy them during weekends or public holidays. Yes. Do you think art classes are necessary and why? Okay. Yes, I think art teaching... Uh, teaching art, not art teaching. Teaching goes before the other noun. Teaching math, teaching English, teaching Chinese. It's beneficial to students uh, because it helps them have access to all the beautiful things. It's access, access, not excess. Excess is a different word. Things in the form of uh, music, paintings, stage performance, and and more importantly, you know, nurtures their life by helping them develop. You can nurture people, but you don't nurture their life. And also, since it's there, there should be lives. But anyway, even if you had said their lives, it would still be kind of weird. You can nurture people. You don't nurture them lives, their lives. So, nurture... Actually, why is this nurtures? All the beautiful things... Nurture them life by helping them develop develop a sense of beauty which is not something academic classes can bring them it's not a bad idea about developing a sense of beauty and how academic classes fall short of doing that how do you think art classes affect children's development well in some art classes by enjoying paintings me there's a word there i couldn't quite catch Applying? Applying? Some art classes by enjoying paintings, music, or some stage performance. Uh, kids witness the, the uh, variety of art which fill their source with... Ex it's some mispronunciation here. It's kids, I think. Actually, I should probably change that. I think what he wanted to say was kids. But it came out. <coughs> sorry, it it came out sounding like keys, or keys rather. And he has problems with a lot of vowel sounds, like the difference between full and feel, and even with some consonant sounds, like souls, not sores. You know, and hopefully. The Whoa! Too far. Let's go back with excitement and contentment you know and hopefully develop a sense of beauty besides those artworks presented in classes help them view the world from another person's view now he said word here I'm pretty sure he wanted to say world um, for view, why not use the word perspective? That would be a better word to use, right? Because here, view is already used as a verb. So, 
let's not repeat it as the noun. Let's choose another word. Let's choose the word perspective. Uh, which will nurture uh, their later life. You know, in terms of uh, like creativity and seeing problems from different perspectives. So instead of using the words view or perspective so many times, what you can use words like different angle or you can use the idiom uh, standing in someone else's shoes. So you can see things while standing in someone else's shoes, which has the same meaning as this. What kind of paintings do Chinese people like? Well, now just remember again that in part one, you're never going to get specific words like this. So it will be like, what kind of paintings do people in your country like? Well, it's very hard to generalize, you know. This is a good idea. Because things, as I said so many times before, are not simply black and white. People don't just like A or just like B. Some find, some find paintings with massive and beautiful landscape fascinating. Now, paintings, countable. Landscapes, also countable. Why others gravitate towards... But here, why is it gravitates? This is a verb. Others gravitate. Gravitate is a great verb to use, but you have to get the subject verb agreement right. Others gravitate. Those simple ones, like some paintings portraying only a cub of it or a dog. <laughs> I don't know. Something went wrong here. I don't think you meant to say a cup of it. <laughs> because a cup of what? What can you learn from Western painting? Alright, so that should be paintings. Again, paintings are countable. For, uh, from paintings portraying uh, the Western... There should be no article there. So just Western buildings. Uh, buildings. I get to know how Western style buildings look like and... It's not how they look like, it's what they look like. But just one more thing. Uh, this you doesn't mean you personally. This you means people in general. Now, if you answer this question uh, from your own perspective, it's not the worst thing in the world, but that's not quite what the, what the question means. Uh, and I think to avoid the confusion, often they will rephrase the question saying something like, what can we learn? Or something like that. But actually, to be honest with you, <laughs> they're never going to be this specific Western paintings. Because what if you live in Asia and you've never seen Western paintings? Remember, the IELTS test is not a test of your world knowledge. Uh, they're not going to ask you about things that are happening in other countries. Anyway, my buildings look like and how they are different from buildings in my own country. Besides, some paintings describe what people do when it comes to some local festivals, which provides me with a good opportunity to, you know, get a better picture about Western culture and, and some customs. What benefits can you get from painting as a hobby? Again, here, this you doesn't really mean you. Same thing. Uh, first of all, painting, uh, painting helps me hone you know, my hand-eye coordination ability. Okay, there's some good and some bad here. The good is the hone. To hone is like to sharpen, to make something, uh, to strengthen something, to make it sharper. And the hand-eye coordination, that's good, but there should be no ability. It's just hand-eye coordination, no ability. Ability. Secondly, uh, drawing something beautiful helps me develop a sense of... Now that I listen to this again, I think he's saying drawing, not join. Ability. Secondly, uh, drawing something beautiful... Yeah, that word drawing, right? Uh, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to hear what people are saying. But yeah, drawing. Now before you said sense of beauty for the previous question, this time it is sense of, oh, sense of beauty again. 
Mm. I kind of feel like he's overusing the sense of beauty phrase. Helps me develop a sense of beauty. Why not say appreciation of beauty? So it helps me appreciate beauty. We can still talk about beauty. Maybe this is how he really feels. But let's just use different words to express the same idea. So it helps me appreciate beauty. How do you feel? Uh, how do you feel about art? How do you feel about art? I don't think this is a real question. I think we can benefit a lot from art, like developing a sense of beauty. <laughs> Come on. Viewing this world from another person's perspective. It's world, world, not word. And more importantly, uh, de developing an ability to appreciate anything beautiful. Okay, be aware of just recycling things that you've said before. What benefits does art bring to people? Well, I think we can benefit a lot from art, like developing a sense of beauty, viewing this world from another person's pers perspective, and more importantly, developing an ability to appreciate anything beautiful. How? I feel like we're going around in circles here. I'm hearing the same thing over and over. People. Wait, what? How important do you think art is in the lives of people? Well, art See now here, I would have used the technique that he used before by saying it depends. Some people A, some people B. Art makes our life colorful and feels our life, our lives. It's our souls with excitement and contentment. Without those great artistic works like paintings, music, or stage performance, we would end up leading a boring and meaningless life. Okay, except for this last part about leading. I do like that he said leading instead of living. So yeah, the leading, leading a boring and meaningless life, that's good. But everything else, I mean, he said that already. It's getting a little repetitive now. Why do you think people like to have a painting in their homes? Why is it just one painting? Why not paintings? Well, paintings liven up the rooms, you know, and... This is good. If you make something more vivid, you make something more interesting, you liven it up. It's a good phrase to use show the good taste that the owners have in art. So it shows the owner's good taste in art. The taste in, that's good. Uh, they can also weave their magic to... This is a great phrase, to weave their magic. It's like to do something special. It doesn't actually have to be magic. But weave and magic definitely go together. This is a good collocation put people in a good mood and besides the art value paintings might be of great sentimental value besides the art value oh, i think it means artistic now before he used artistic correctly uh this is a noun so we would need an adjective with this like for example here sentimental sentimental is an adjective sentimental value adjective noun 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 no Artistic value, yes. Besides the art value, paintings might be of great sentimental value to the owners. Have you ever been to an art gallery before? Yes, last week I went to a local art gallery with, with a bunch of my friends. You know, most, most paintings. This guy really overuses you know. Uh, be wary of overusing discourse markers. Exhibited in this gallery, uh, portray the the natural landscape. For natural landscape, we don't need the it's just natural landscapes. And here's you know again. Landscape, you know, they looked so beautiful and spectacular, and I took some photos of the of them. All right, 
Well, there you have it. This guy's take on art.